Max Verstappen's third victory of the Formula One season and 24th win of his career propelled him to Formula One's title lead for the first time in 2022 at the expense of Charles Leclerc. Auto League breaks down the main points from the Spanish Grand Prix. Verstappen takes the lead Verstappen's 24th career victory, six years removed from his maiden victory at the same venue, was not the most straightforward one. A rare mistake during the first stint relegated Verstappen from 4th to 2nd before an erratic, drag reduction system, DRS thwarted his efforts to overhaul Mercedes' George Russell. The device, which had malfunctioned during qualifying, kept either not opening or only briefly opening before slamming shut. That frustrated Verstappen, leading to a series of angry exchanges with the pit wall, as remedies were sought. Leclerc's demise in a switch to a three-stop strategy in the searing Spanish heat, with air temperature nearing 100 degrees, meant the outlook became swiftly rosier. Verstappen used his sizable tire advantage to pass Russell while his path to the lead was facilitated by team orders to teammate Sergio Perez. Verstappen had quipped after his early eggs in Australia that he could not even think about the championship. Just three rounds and six weeks later he has a race to 45 point deficit and now leads the way. Max Verstappen takes the checkered flag a full 13 seconds ahead of his nearest competitor in Spain on Sunday. Manu Fernandez getting images it was a difficult beginning but a good end, said Verstappen. I went off in turn 4, I completely lost the rear. I lost a few positions through that and as soon as I wanted to attack, my DRS stopped working. It was upsetting at the time but then I calmed myself down and focused on the bigger picture. We are on a good trajectory and we can be proud of that as a team, but as you can see, some things are fragile and we need to keep on working hard, we have to be on top of everything. It was a Red Bull 1-2 for the second time in three races but in the immediacy Perez was a little miffed. Having been compliant and not battling Verstappen he was irritated at not being given track position during the moments when he had a tire advantage. I think the problem for any driver is that if they don't have a clear review of a strategy or race plan in front of them, it is always going to be.